Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Adam Moore, and I'm going to be walking you through on how to upload an ad to your customer-facing display. What is a customer-facing display? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a piece of technology that comes with your point of sale. At the time of checkout, it allows customers to see the transactional data so your customers know exactly what is being rung up at all times. It also gives your customers the ability to see any promotional discounts you are currently running in your store. And last but not least, and maybe the most important, advertisements. Depending on your software plan, we allow up to three ads that you can show on your customer-facing display. Once configured, this will allow you to influence your customer's buying experience. All right, so now that we understand what a customer display is, let's walk you through on how to upload an ad. First, you want to make sure that your ad is in one of the supported formats, such as PNG or JPEG. Next, you will want to confirm the resolution settings are 1024 by 768. If your ad falls outside of these parameters, it is possible your ad will not display correctly on your customer-facing screen. Now that we've covered the parameters needed to upload an ad, let's walk you through on how to upload an ad of your own. To do this, we'll need to navigate to the Merchant Portal. Once in the Merchant Portal, you want to navigate to Store Settings. Once in Store Settings, then into the Ads tab. Now once in the Ads tab, there are a couple sections here I'd like to break down. Click the Download Template. The template is a fill safe to confirm merchants are staying within the ad parameters so ad uploads are successful and display correctly on your customer display. Next, we have slots. Now, depending on your software plan, we give the ability to upload three ads to your customer display. Today, we're only going to be uploading one ad as an example. So I'm going to select slot number one. At this point, you can see the image selection shows no file selected. At this point, I can either double click in the selection to locate my file or drag and drop my ad. I'm going to drag and drop my image. And there we go. And as you can see, the image has been captured. At this point, I can now set my ad status to enable and set the dates of when I want this ad to display from. Now keep in mind, if you leave the to date empty, the ad will run indefinitely. At this point, we can now hit save store settings. And within four to six hours, the new ad will appear on your customer display. I hope you enjoyed this session today. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.